This Miles Turner stuff is getting out of hand, man. Now, you guys already know we don't mention names over here. That's one thing we don't do over here. We don't mention names. You know, only thing we're going to do is call Dude Dude. Apparently, Dude said Miles Turner basically saying he doesn't want to be in Indiana no more. And Miles Turner basically responded on Twitter basically saying it's Cap. You know, that, that's what the new guys say, Cap. You know, I don't use that shit, but Cap is what they say. Miles Turner basically saying, dude, Cap. And so how do I feel about this? I mean, as far as the dude that said what he said, I mean, I really don't have nothing to say about him. I mean, he can say what he want. But when it comes to Miles, what are you worrying about stuff like this for? Shouldn't you be focused on your game, man? Why are you worrying about this stuff? Who cares? And this is our starting center right here. Daniel Tice is actually the best center on our roster. And this is no joke here. Because I know I joke around a lot. But the thing is, I'm serious at the same time. Daniel Tice is actually the best center on the Pacers roster. And that is the truth. Do you think I'm lying? Let's not forget, Daniel Tice was the starting center on the Boston Celtics not too long ago when they made a conference final run in the bubble. You remember that bubble season? The Celtics were in the conference finals. And you know who that starting center was? Daniel Tice. You want to know why he was starting? Because he provides defense. Aggressiveness, toughness, leadership. It had nothing to do with numbers. Go ahead and look his numbers up. I tell you, you don't even have to look him up. Hey, born ready. What did Daniel Tice average when he was starting for the Celtics when they went to the conference finals? A triple single. I'm going to tell you straight up. But do you think he was starting for no reason? You think the Celtics had him out there for no reason? There was a reason he was out there. It had nothing to do with numbers. But y'all will go run to them numbers. We could actually use Daniel Tice on his team. A young vet, you know, only 30 years old, so I consider him a young vet. You know, he getting up there, but he's still young at the same time. Young vet. It's a reason the Celtics keep bringing that guy back to their roster. Don't you think it's a reason that the Celtics keep wanting him back? They want him back now, and they just traded him a couple weeks ago, and they want him back. It's a reason. He means something to that locker room. We need a guy like that in our locker room. Daniel Tice, believe it or not, is the best center on our roster. And that's nothing to brag about. So I'm not bragging about that at all. And if you're a fan of Miles Turner, I need you to click off this video right now. Because I don't have time for the crying. I don't have time for the sad faces. I don't have time for it. But then again, y'all still going to sit there and listen and hate, ain't y'all? Go in and keep hating. Just know, I want that number one slot. When you talk about those guys that you hate, I want that number one slot because I already heard I'm cash money as a bad guy. You know, Miles talking about his cap that he doesn't want to leave. The thing is, is he can't leave. Leave and go win. Nobody wants him. You can count on one hand the list of teams that Miles Turner would fit with right now. Think about it. Let's look at the teams that he would fit on. Because it's not that many. A lot of these teams that were supposedly interested in him already sold that center positions up. The Dallas Mavericks. Christian Wood. A real center here. A real center that can run with Luka. Miles Turner can't keep up with Luka. You think the Mavericks won it, Miles Turner? Miles Turner can't keep up, man. Luca need a rim running center, man. A center that's going to put pressure on the rim. You think Mark Cuban was going to slow Luca down by giving him Miles Turner? Hell 
don't know. The Dallas Mavericks went and got a center that fits his needs. Christian Wood, they don't need no Miles Turner, man. The Charlotte Hornets, y'all want to say the Charlotte Hornets need them, but y'all already know how I feel about that situation. They never wanted them. They've had the assets forever to get them. Never pulled the trigger. They drafted a young stud instead. Mark Williams, a modern-day center. That fits their point guard needs. LaMelo Ball needs a rim-running center. He doesn't need a center that can't drop off the ground. You want to just throw him in that Buddy Hill trade? Go ahead. Put him on the Lakers. I already told y'all the situation. Sure, he can start there, but when shit get real, he's not going to be on the floor. You think he's going to be on the floor in the fourth quarter in the playoffs? Hell no. When you got guys like Luka, guys like Chris Paul, singling guys out, picking on a possession after possession, that's what they do in the playoffs. That's what goes down in the trenches. Guys get picked on. We don't know nothing about that because we don't make the playoffs. That's what goes down. Miles Turner will not be on the floor in the fourth quarter when it matters. A lot of people say he can start in Toronto. I mean, I don't see that. I don't see that situation. I don't see how he can get to the Toronto Raptors. There's no way we getting OG for this guy. Really? Y'all think we getting OG for Turner? Please. I've been told y'all Miles Turner wasn't worth nothing. I've been told y'all that. Talking about we can get a lottery pick for him. Please. I've been told y'all that. The Utah Jazz. You want to throw him on the Utah Jazz? I mean, that fire sale they having over there, I guess he can start there. And I'm not saying Miles Turner is one of the worst centers in the league. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, being realistic, where could he go? He would start on a team like the Houston Rockets. No doubt about that. Miles Turner would definitely start in Houston. But it makes no sense for Houston to trade for him. You get what I'm saying? The Orlando Magics. If you want to say Miles Turner is better than Wendell Carter, go ahead. I'm not going to fight you on that. I mean, that's debatable. But if you want to say Miles Turner is better than him, go ahead. But that's a situation where it makes no sense for Orlando to trade for Miles Turner. You get what I'm saying? So I'm not saying he's one of the worst. I'm just saying realistic situations is only about four. Now, if you're going to tell me he's going to accept the bench role, I can find about 20 places he can go, including some contenders. Some chip contenders. I mean, he swat shots and he's capable of hitting a three. You know, he's capable of hitting a three. He's not a stretch big. Let's get that clear. He swat shots and he's capable of hitting a three. That sounds like a bench player to me because he doesn't do much else. Miles Turner need to focus on his game. That's what he need to focus on because he might not even be a starting center after this season. I mean, people keep saying, oh, he's going to have a pick of his own team next summer. There's going to be a lot of teams lined up for him. Who? There's not too many teams lining up to pay a 12 and 7 big 20 plus million. We want to get rid of him, but nobody wants to take him. So we're kind of stuck together. That's how it is, and that's how it's going to be for at least the next year or so, right? Until he's a free agent. But don't get mad at the facts, though.